Okay, welcome back to Phoenix. Sean Leahy standing in for Jeff Howard today. Probably not going to do a very good job, but as usual, Karen Garigian is with us on the Tostitos Party Boulevard here at the Super Bowl uh, Wednesday. And uh, it was a busy day here at the Super Bowl, Karen. We heard from the Patriots. We were out with the Seahawks. Uh, what happened uh, at the Patriots today? Well, uh, I got a ringside seat uh, standing next to uh, Tom Brady's podium, and it was very obvious uh, he, he was battling a cold or a case of the sniffles. Um, he told us... It uh, made him rather human, didn't it? It did, because he was wiping his nose just like any little kid would do. <laughs> there were no tissues, uh, uh, although someone got him a towel after, after a little while, because it was getting a little gross. Um, <laughs> But, uh, you know, he, he let on that he's been sick for about four or five days. Kids the, are sick, right? The, the, whole the wife's sick. sick. Giselle, yeah. poor everyone, poor Giselle, she's very sick, according to Tom. Uh, but rest assured. Stars, they're just like us. <laughs> but rest assured, Patriot Nation, uh, Tom says he will be fine. Uh, this will not be a problem. And uh, I, I looked it up 10 years ago in an AFC championship game. Uh, your Tom Brady played uh, with 103 fever, and uh, uh, he had like IV fluids all the night before. So he'd he's have, tough. This he'd is, have to be really, really sick to miss this game on Sunday. Right, and this was this is just a little head cold. Right. Yeah. Uh, and elsewhere with the Patriots today, we saw some uh, interesting stuff with Darrell Revis and Devin McCourty today, right? Yes, uh, Devin McCourty uh, grabbed a microphone and had a cameraman and, and basically barged in on, on Revis' session and, and started asking questions about ownership of an island. <laughs> and uh, if he was sharing a certain island, um, uh, to which Revis said, no, you have your own island, it's McCourty Island. But, I, you know, I thought it was kind of significant of just kind of the room in general. You know, the Patriots are... are even in light of deflate gate they seem to be pretty normal or it doesn't nothing seems to be phasing them they're acting like they would act i'm not sensing any tension or anything out of the ordinary they, they seem to be in in good spirit and good stead and that's significant with all that they've gone through over the past 10 days there's been a lot of controversy uh, around this team uh, but they're they're laughing it right off and they're continuing with what they need to do right Exactly, and they were all looking forward to getting out of practice. Boy, Bill Belichick would be happy to report what I'm what I saw and <laughs> saw or going from table to table. Uh, they're ready to go. They were all talking about Super Bowl. Uh, no more Deflate Gate. They are focused and ready. Now we'll get a better sense uh, on Thursday when we uh, are able to you know ask about practice how they did on Wednesday. But generally towards the end of a week when they are lighter and more confident, that means that they had a good week of practice and can sometimes mean that they will play well on Sunday, right? Exactly. That that's the old it, wives' tale. The thing that I've been told you can tell how a team is going to play. Uh, by by what they look like or how they're acting toward the end of the week. So we'll see with them. And, uh, of course, I think that Seattle's always that way. They're always loose. They're always having a good time. Yeah. Over on the other side of the desert today, we saw we talked to the Seahawks. Uh, Marshawn Lynch was back up to his old tricks. Yesterday it was, I'm here so I don't get fined. Well, well, yeah, how many more words did he spout today? I think he had, or? was it, five or six today. He said, uh, you know why I'm here. You know why. Yeah. And then it, he, he said it uh, over the course of five minutes, and somebody said, well, what do you say to your, your fans who want to hear from you? He said, they know why I'm here. They know. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but Pete Carroll said he has no problem with uh, Marshawn Lynch. He says, you're seeing a guy who's being himself, and Pete Carroll encourages him to be himself. So this is, uh, you know, it may be a problem with the NFL, particularly the hat that he was wearing was not, did not seem to be an NFL licensed hat today. Brian Urlacher got a $100,000 fine for that seven, seven or eight years ago at the Super Bowl. So Marshawn Lynch could, could have a problem there. Uh, but again, like you say, this is a loose Seahawks team. They encourage Marshawn to be himself. And they're... Uh uh, they kind of are in the image of their coach, and their coach Pete is kind of an easygoing kind of guy. So his team is very easygoing, and and teammate, uh, Marshawn's teammates talking about him. You know, they have no problem with him. Uh, not talking to the media or doing whatever the heck he wants to do. One of those guys who backed him up yesterday was Richard Sherman. Uh, and uh, Richard Sherman told us today that his girlfriend is set to have a baby this Any week. Any second. Yes. Yes. That's yes. a good one. Uh, but she has come to Arizona with him. She's prepared to give birth here in Arizona at one of the local hospitals. However, what happens on Sunday if the baby is set to be born 
right as game time draws, game time draws, uh, that's going to be an interest, interesting decision. Richard Sherman says they'll cross that bridge when they get to it. Uh, it's a tough one. My money says he plays in the Super Bowl. Yeah, I would say uh, that too. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll uh, we'll see. We'll find out uh, a little bit more in the coming days. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a little exciting. We'll have our last access for, uh, to the players this week, right? Yes, our last. Uh access to everyone uh, once again early early morning visits another look at practice after that it all gets uh, lo it's in lockdown mode after yeah. that tomorrow will be a fun day too because uh someone a lot of these folks want to see katie perry will be here at the super bowl media center um, she'll probably sing a little bit uh she'll probably uh talk to uh talk to us uh, who really uh, those of us who really don't know much about katie perry they'll mm -hmm. i think there'll be enough uh entertainment reporters here to cut uh, pick up the slack for us though right uh we, we're running out and buying her CDs as we speak, just so we know what the heck to ask. Yeah, exactly. I don't think we're going to roar, though, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That'll probably do it for us here at Super Bowl Boulevard, Tostitos Party Boulevard with Karen Garrison. I'm Sean Leahy.